next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch dances from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no? unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the floor. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Mr. Untouchable. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Watch 
And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Again, back into this position. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Three minutes to go here, round one. Come on now, Let's move that head. Let's move that head now. Blocks the shot. Oh, perfect head kick there. Big knee lands there. Just out of range with that left hook. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, massive kick! Didn't see that one coming. Of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the up his going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving so Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. And they separate. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Seconds now to go in the round. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Good jab. That's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing so and talk to your toughness. Ooh, what a punch. What a round. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing 
that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big body kick lands. Unable to connect with the right hand there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Level change into a leg. Finish the takedown. Oh, Great and job. he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Back to the feet now. Big leg kick land. Single collar tie there. Just missing on the uppercut there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice leg. Oh, big knee. Oh! Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land this great punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. And they separate. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Able to check the high kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Straight right, he misses. And they separate. Now we get back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. wonder to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. Ready? Fight! 
bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big punch land for the belt. Jab, but unable to land. Oh, misses with the jab. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Nice punch, man. Boy, Ty Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Got clip with the right hand. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Shot to the body, they're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, big punch land. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Seconds now to go in the round. Well done to block that powerful kick to the back. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he got it back! Oh, really nice 
work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Strong to quite strong there. Connects with a right. Oh, and he caught the kick. A pinpoint jab to the head on the counter for him. And again, oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Oh, that right hand is on point. Whiffs on that offering. Dancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Oh, straight right. Oh! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one might be the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedowns. Usually, trust him. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Trouble now. That was Cable last year. His punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has a performance hurt very badly again. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Under two minutes to go in the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, single collar time now. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body shot. Way to hide that leg. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, huge block. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. And they separate. Under a minute to go. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. Chase that finish down now. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really strong. Oh! oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! What a performance! A near perfect.
right strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. The official decision Ladies is in. We said it inside the octagon. Contest. Here is Bruce Buffett. Four minutes, 20 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. Untouchable. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.